All right, Tech U team, in this one, I wanna go over some of the basics of Facebook and Instagram ads, uh, what you're gonna see when you log into your business uh, Facebook account. And in this one, I'm just gonna talk about some of the campaign objectives that you're gonna see and which ones you should use and which ones you should absolutely stay away for, okay? So let's go ahead and hit create. So as soon as you hit create, the first thing it's gonna ask you is to choose a campaign objective, all right? So real quick, I just wanna go through all of them just so you know exactly what's happening, okay? So when you choose awareness, right, what's, what awareness is gonna do is it's going to send your Facebook ad to as many people as possible, even if it's really, really, really low quality traffic, right? Because it just wants to get as many eyeballs on it as possible. So for the most part, we stay away from that one um, as much as possible, okay? And then we go to traffic, okay? Traffic is a little bit better, but again, it's more people that click on random stuff, but then don't get tracked through, right? Because Facebook tracks a lot of these things. So traffic, again, is very similar to awareness, um, but you're gonna get to see a few more people actually click your link, okay? Now, engagement. This is where we love to be, okay? Facebook Messenger campaigns have proven time and time again that these are the most effective ads in the tech repair industry, right? And of course, you'll see in other videos, I'll show you how to set these up, but this is gonna allow somebody to come to your store and ask a question, right? And the best part about the messenger campaigns right now is that, let's say for instance, you're doing a lead campaign, right? What happens is you, the customer or the, or the potential customer, they'll hit um, learn more or something like that. And then they'll go in and they'll have to put their information and then they'll have to hit submit. So it's just a few steps, right? What happens with the messenger campaign is as soon as they hit send message, it automatically sends us a message so they get stored into our inbox, right? And you'll see this in the video, but you can actually go ahead and create automations for a conversation. So you can set up a message that says, hey, I have a broken phone, I want to get it fixed. So they don't have to actually type it out. They just select it, it automatically sends. Again, they're already in your inbox. So you can always work them as a lead regardless, but the, the engagement campaign is definitely where we want to be for messages, okay? Now, leads are okay too, especially if you're sending somebody, um, especially if you have somebody that's really good at working those leads, right? But so as you can see here, instant forms, oh, it's not gonna let me scroll over, but as you see there, it says instant forms. Um, you can use these as messenger campaigns as well, um, conversions and then calls, right? So you can use them straight for calls. We usually like to do engagement just because it stores the person in the inbox um, and their message is always there. You can reach out to them anytime. But leads, you're gonna go ahead and get the information, get their phone number, get what device they have. Uh, you can actually set up the forms through Facebook. I'll make a video on that as well. Um, leads are okay, but again, you have to have somebody that actually works the leads. Um, ad promotion, we're definitely not into that at all. And then sales, this one we don't wanna do either because what's gonna happen is people are gonna go to a website and then they're not actually gonna convert. So we wanna stay away from sales as well too.